Who won? I think I started too early, but anyway, welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Animation Edition with your host Ibrahim, aka Mark Brown. And sadly, we're at the last episode of season eight. This is the tenth episode of season eight. We've had a wonderful season, very fun. We've already had a million point winner, but will we have a second million point winner? Who knows? Today we have with us a newcomer to the show. We have with us Disney lover T. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Did well, I want to thank you for coming on. I know we've had a lot of scheduling issues, but I'm glad we were yeah. able to, to get that taken care of. And um, before we start, uh, do you want to introduce yourself or tell people what animation or Disney in particular means to you? Um, so yeah, I've been a huge Disney lover since I was one. I mean, I work at Disneyland, so <laughs> Disney has pretty much been my life since I was one years old. Um, animation means a lot to me. It's been like an escape um even going from childhood even now it's like an escape to like reality and it's like I get to like be in an alternate universe that I'm not in when I'm like living real life so just to see that and also I've taken animation classes um in college so um I have a very big appreciation for animators and the work they do it's not just like silly cartoons they're like beautiful art pieces that are being shown and even like the son, uh, Silius Family Guy is just like, you know, it, it's still great artwork. So that's what it means to me. That's one of my pet peeves when people call like animated movies cartoons. It's like, that's so, such a demeaning term. <laughs> yeah, it's so demeaning. I'm like, you don't realize the amount of stress that goes into making these things. <laughs> exactly. So I'm glad to have you on. I'm looking forward to a good, uh, fun game. And for anyone else watching, if this is your first time, this is a 12-question multiple-choice game about anything even remotely related to the field of animation. As long as T keeps getting questions right, she goes higher up the ladder. When she gets one wrong, that's the end of the game. And she leaves with the last number of points for the last safe haven. She has three lifelines to help him or help her. 50-50 gets rid of two wrong answers. A former friend, if she chooses, she can call someone for help or ask the expert. This season, our expert is Mr. Skyler Schuler from the Disney Insider. He won the game show last season. I've asked him all the questions this season. And T can see how he answered and decide if she wants to go with that or not. And if she gets a 32 and push against the fourth lifeline, a double dip, which gives her a sec two chances of answering your question. <sighs> T, <laughs> are, you, are you ready to play million? I ready. All right, let me start. I'm going to share my screen. Can you see it? Okay. Let me know when you see it. Okay, I see it. There we go. And I lost my cursor. There we go. Again, this is your lateral points. Remember, the yellow ones are your benchmarks. Once you get to those, you can't lose them no matter what. Okay. And everybody, check out Skyler Shreela at thedisneysider.com. It's a wonderful site for, like, Disney um, scoops and whatnot. They're, they get a lot of scoops really early before a lot of other news uh, channels. So give them a, ch- um, a look. T, let's start. 500 okay. points. Don't, you know, don't be worried. Take your time, and we'll start off easy. What animal... Does the Incan Emperor Cusco transform into in the animated 2000 Disney canon film, The Emperor's New Groove? This is a crocodile, a polar bear, a llama, or a cheetah? C, llama, final answer. You knew that right off the bat. Is it correct? Your answer is correct. <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> Are you an Emperor's New Groove fan? Huh? Are you a fan of Emperor's New Groove? Yes, I do think it is an underrated Disney movie. <laughs> it, it's definitely, it's, it's, it's like nonstop laughs, like from the beginning to the end. Like it's probably it, the most comedic Disney movie, I think. It is, definitely. I haven't seen it as much as, I, as others, but it, you know, I, I do enjoy it when I see it, especially Kronk. Kronk's my favorite. <laughs> Kronk, sells, Kronk sells it. All right, T, you're doing amazing. The next one's the 1,000 points. I have to remind you, if you get that wrong, you'll leave it nothing. I don't think that's going to happen, just, but just have to remind you, 1,000 <laughs> points. Let's go. Which of the following animated Disney canon films features a character known as the Fairy Godmother? This is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Cinderella. Sleeping Beauty. Or The Little Mermaid. B, Cinderella, final answer. Maybe these were too easy, but your answer is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you have a thousand points no matter what you do today. Are yeah. you... Did you see the remake of this, the remake Disney did with the uh, what's her name, Lily James as Cinderella? I have not actually. Oh. It's like I think the one that remake I have not seen. I just haven't got around to watching it. Like I've seen like bits and pieces, but like from beginning to end, I haven't seen it. Are you a fan of the remakes in general, or do you prefer them not to touch them? Um, 
I try not to compare the animated versions and the live action ones, but you know, nothing beats the animated ones. I I'm just hit or miss, but some of the remakes Disney makes just at a point they have to stop. Yeah. Eventually they'll run out, right? But that's what I keep telling myself. But no, they keep coming. So no, they keep coming up with more. <laughs> Soon I'll have the live action, I don't know, um, the great mouse detective with real mice. So please no. <laughs> <laughs> please no Disney, you heard it here first. <laughs> Okay, T, you're doing wonderful, and you have all your lifelines still. Let's keep going. Okay. 2000. Which character is stolen by Big Al in the animated 1999 Pixar film Toy Story 2? Is Woody, Mr. Potato Head, Slinky Dog, or Rex? A, Woody, final answer. You're just rolling through these. Your answer is correct. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of my favorite Pixar movies. Oh, really? Yeah. Is this your favorite Toy Story film? It is. Okay. Toy Story 2. I mean, Toy Story 1 is really funny, but Toy Story 2 is just, it's so, <laughs> watching it as an adult is glorious. <laughs> I know I know a lot of people who say that. Um, like, from this is probably an un unpopular opinion, but for me, this is my least favorite Toy Story movie. Yeah? What about your one? I like it, but um, I don't know. I like the others better. I, I guess Toy Story 3 then Toy Story, then Toy Story 4, and then this one. Really? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, was, I never got into this movie. Like, I like it. I don't dislike it, but it was never... That's your favorite one. Exactly. But it's it's better than a lot of movies that come out now. I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think one of the most um, satisfying things in this movie is when Jerry, um, the uh, the guy who's like polishing up Woody, comes in and you know gives him that whole makeover. That's yeah, so satisfying to watch. It's like... <laughs> beginning asmr just on the tv exactly before that was a thing yeah <laughs> all right t you're doing amazing you still have all your lifelines five thousand which of the following is not one of the gifts given to a member of the madrid god family in the animated 2021 disney canon film encanto which is not is it super strength shape-shifting flight or ability to communicate with animals I'm going to go with C, flight. Final answer. Your answer is correct. <laughs> Encanto, I, I like this movie a lot. I, it, Me it's, too. It's probably, in my opinion, I think it's the best Disney movie since Moana. Like between those two, I don't think I loved anything in between them. Yeah. Like Frozen 2 was okay. Oh. And, I prefer Frozen 2 over Frozen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about Frozen 2 over Frozen, but I prefer Into the Unknown over Let It Go. <laughs> I will guess 100% agree. <laughs> I, I find myself bel belting that song all the time, but Let It Go just goes away in my mind. I'm over Let It Go. Make it stop. <laughs> make it stop. Make it make stop. It stop. <laughs> That's the remake we need. But the remake. Need in Kanto, I like what they did with it. I think my only complaint with it, I feel there were too many characters. And I feel that kind yeah. of, like the focus between all of them kind of got unevenly split. Yeah, that way it was a lot of like backstories they were all trying to do. Yeah, like like some, I can't, I can't even remember, like, you know, like, um, I forget the, the dad in the back here. I forget his name, but like I don't remember anything about his character besides that he gets stung by bees. <laughs> it's about it. Yeah, I don't remember his name, but I forgot the mom's name too. But yeah, I remember so, everyone else's name. <laughs> exactly, and I do love the songs. Like my favorite song is "Surface Pressure." Yeah, that's my favorite. But one. it was like, "That's your favorite song, right?" And I was like, "Sure, why?" Because it's like you're the oldest sister, so you must relate. I'm like, I feel it. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, so you have siblings. Yeah, I'm I'm an only yeah. child, so I don't. Okay, relate, but, <laughs> but I'm sure I'm sure you guys could relate to this. <laughs> yeah, I'm the oldest daughter, so out of three girls, so yeah. When that yeah. song came out, I was like, yeah, I feel it. <laughs> nice. All right, T, you're doing amazing. You're three away from the next benchmark. You still have all your lifelines. Let's keep okay. going. Ten thousand. Which character does Horton the elephant speak to in the animated 2008 Blue Sky Studios film? Horton hears the who. Does he speak to the minister of Whoville? Does he speak to the Earl of Whoville? Does he speak to the mayor of Whoville? Or does he speak to the Baron of Whoville? 
Oh my goodness, it's been so long since I've seen this movie. All right, take, um, your, take your time and you have lifelines if you need them. But you, you've seen this movie though, I, I assume. I have. I used to, my sister used to watch it a lot like okay. when it first came out, but I have not seen it in like years. <laughs> it's been so long. I'm you can ask Skylar, you could take a 50-50. Hmm. Are, you, are you leaning towards anything though? So you think strike allergies, it might be that. I'm thinking mayor. Okay. But I meant sure. But I'm gonna just go with my gut and say, see the mayor of Whoville final answer. Ouch, you went with your gut without using a lifeline. How sure are you? <laughs> Let's see. Is that enough? T you probably this, not. <laughs> you get this wrong, that's the end of the game. You get it right, you keep going. Your <laughs> answer is correct oh wow <laughs> i was really <laughs> i was like it has to be one of those i couldn't remember some clearly something was in your mind so you remember that so congratulations i was just there watching it five million times i should go thank her after this <laughs> yeah she's like you helped me win ten thousand points what are you talking about she's like what <laughs> yeah this was the mayor of whoville i think steve carell voiced him in this movie and i I love the Dr. Seuss books, and my problem with the movies, I feel when you try to take the Dr. Seuss books, which are like maybe 20 pages, and you try to make them into an hour and a half movie or two hour long movie, it's a lot of padding, but I think, I think this is one of the better ones they did, but like, you know, Mike Myers, The Cat in the Hat, or yeah, <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch's The Grinch was okay, but I don't know. It, I prefer them to be half an hour shorts instead. The half an hour shorts, yes. Those were the best. But I still love The Grinch. The Grinch makes me happy. Well, the Jim Carrey one. That one's my oh, favorite. Great. <laughs> I, I didn't grow up with this. I don't have nostalgia for it. But um, it, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. T, you, you, you saved your lifelines. You're two away from the next benchmark. Can we get you there? 20,000. Hopefully. <laughs> Hans Conried voices Captain Hook in the animated 1953 Disney film Peter Pan, along with which other character? Does he voice Mr. Smoot? Oh. Does he voice the Native American chief? Does he voice Peter Pan? Or does he voice Mr. Darwin? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take your time. Again. Let me think. Hmm. You have lifelines if you need. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use a lifeline on this one. I think I'll do the 50-50. You want to do 50 50? Okay. Instead of asking Skyler, he's a big Disney guy, but you want to go for the 50? Let's do that. We'll get rid of two wrong answers. Peter Pan or Mr. Bell. Okay. I'm you gonna go the second with... line if you want, or take a guess. <laughs> I'm gonna go with D, Mr. Darling, final answer. You don't sound very sure of yourself, but <laughs> you said final answer, so I have to go with it. D, your <laughs> answer is correct. <laughs> Congratulations. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you don't was... sound so sure. No. <laughs> But hey, you, you got that one and you used it. I knew it wasn't Peter Pan, so. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That helped. Yeah, because in, um, in, in the productions of Peter Pan on stage, there's like six um, traditions that they always do. And when Disney made the animated movie, he broke five of them, but he kept one. And this was the one he kept. And this was the tradition of whoever plays Wendy's father, Mr. Darling, also plays Mr. Hook, a uh, Captain Hook. Yeah. So he did the same thing here. The voice of Mr. Darling is the same voice as Captain Hook. So, That's cool. You'll never forget that as long as you live. <laughs> T, you lost a life, Ryan, but you have two, two more. And the next one is 32,000. If you get that right, you will have 32,000 no matter what. And you will get that extra life, Ryan, the double dip. So okay. let's see what it is. 32,000 points. The director video animated 1999 Disney Toon Studio film Seasons of Given features which character? Is it Winnie the Pooh? Mickey Mouse? Tinkerbell? Or Stitch? 
Okay. Hmm. Well, I know it's not Stitch because Stitch came out. Little Stitch came out in two thousand one, so that's not or two thousand two. So that's not that one for sure. I don't even think I've seen this movie, which is funny. <laughs> I think um, you have Skyler if you need him. Hmm. Remember, if you yeah. get this wrong, you leave with a thousand. Let's go with an expert. <laughs> Okay, so let's ask Skyler. He's a big Disney guy. Does he know this? I asked him, and he said, I'm 100% sure it's A, Winnie the Pooh. He says 100% Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Well, let's trust him. Let's go with A, Winnie the Pooh, final answer. <laughs> All right. You weren't sure about this one. He went with Skyler. He was 100% sure. Is that a good enough, um, you know, percentage? Your answer is... Correct. <laughs> Thanks, Skyler. Thanks, Skyler. Congratulations to you. You have 32,000 no matter what you do today, and you gained a double dip. So, yeah, this was one of those, like, you know, those director video Winnie the Pooh movies. Yeah. It was like a compilation of, like, some of the, the episodes of the show. So, I, I, don't uh, think, I don't think I've seen this one either, but I do like Winnie the Pooh a lot, and I love that many adventures of Winnie the Pooh show. Yes, my sister was a huge Winnie the Pooh fan when she was little, like, super big. Uh, Annoyingly yeah. big. <laughs> was it not your thing? Like, huh? Were you not into it? I liked it. I just, you know, I had my own my own things I wanted to watch, and she just wanted to watch me the Pooh. So. I do like I like the ride a lot though at Magic Kingdom, the Winnie the Pooh ride. I do enjoy it. Yeah, they have one here at Disneyland too. I'm not sure if it's the same exact one though. I'm I think sure. it is. I'm think, pretty sure it is. I feel like I wrote the one in Magic Kingdom. Because, but the what I don't like is they replaced over here. They replaced they replaced Mr. Toad's Wild Ride with that. But you guys still have Mr. Toad, right, at Disneyland? Yes, so, we do. <sighs> Mr. Toad's Wild Ride or whatever yeah. the ride is called. <laughs> yeah. Next next year, I'm planning to go to make a Disneyland trip because I've never been because I I live in Orlando. Yeah. There, so one day I will I will <laughs> have to visit the park that. Walt actually lived and walked through. <laughs> exactly, not not the Orlando Park. That's the that's the bragging rights we have. We're like, oh well, did you both did Walt walk through your park? No, okay, we're better. No, yeah. no. <laughs> but we got a bigger castle. Oh, take that. <laughs> oh yeah, well, our creator was the creator was still oh, yeah. there. Darn. <laughs> no, you guys have so many cool stuff. But you have Mr. Toad, which we don't have. You have Indiana mm -hmm. Jones ride, which we don't have. You mm -hmm. have a Roger Rabbit ride, which we don't have. You have a Pinocchio ride, I think, right? We do have Pinocchio. We'll yeah. see if Roger Rabbit still stays because Toontown is currently closed down and oh, they really? just turned on a bunch of stuff. So we'll see what to if Roger oh. Rabbit's still there. Oh, please stay until next year until I can go on it. <laughs> then... I hope so. I loved Roger Rabbit. And Alice in Wonderland, right? There's Alice in Wonderland ride. Yes, and we they just... actually did like an update for it. So it looks a lot better back than from back when I was little. Okay, yeah, we just have the teacups. We don't have a ride. <laughs> and um, Yeah. And... Monsters Inc. Right? You have Monsters Inc. Ride. Yes, we do in California Adventure. I'm hoping they tear that down though for a better ride. <laughs> is, is it? It's not good. <laughs> no, it's I. I was there the day it opened. Like I went on it. It was. It's fun. It's just Hollywood Land and California Adventure just needs to be torn down and redone something. Since Avengers Camp is open, it's kind of like this limbo land. Oh. It's just like just tear it down and fix it. So. You heard that first, Listen to T. I <laughs> hire her for this project. <laughs> okay. I wish. All right, T, you're five away from the million. We want to get to you there. You have two lifelines, one Skylar and one double dip, but let's see okay. how far we can go. 64,000. Let's see. Which of the following celebrities did not make an appearance in the animated 1999 Disney canon film Fantasia 2000? Did not make an appearance. John Goodman. Steve Martin. James Earl Jones or Penn and Teller? Mm, I should know this. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And again, you have Skyler if you need him, and you have a double dip if you need that. Hmm. Let's try a double dip and see what happens. 
Okay, so again, double dip gives you two chances of answering the question. So you could say, you know, A, final answer. And if that's wrong, you still get another chance to say B, final answer. If that's okay. wrong, then you lose. <laughs> At least you get two chances. Okay. So what's your first guess? Um, my first guest is D, Penn and Teller, final answer. All right. So you're using double dips to get two chances. You went with Penn and Teller, final answer. Is that correct? Your answer is wrong, unfortunately. But you get a second chance. They actually were in the movie. They they introduced the uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice section. Ah. So it's one of the others. Which is what is your second guess? Again, if you get this one wrong, that's the end of the game. I'm going to go with. Can I see the answers again? Okay. Yeah. Um, John Goodman, Steve Martin, or James Earl Jones. Okay, I'm going to go with A. John Goodman. Final answer. <laughs> All right. It wasn't Penn and Teller. It wasn't John Goodman. <laughs> Your answer is correct. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Congratulations. Actually, one of my first mind in the beginning, I was like, okay, I think it's going to be that one. Yes. Good, good job. Yeah. He, he wasn't in that. Um, for me, the first Fantasia, this is another unpopular opinion, but the first Fantasia is my least favorite Disney movie, like uh, of the animated canon. I, Cast the, the OG Fantasia? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's so boring to me, and I know that's a big thing to say. <laughs> the 2001 is definitely, I believe, is better. I that's mean, the one I watched. I'm glad, I'm glad you agree with me on that. But I know most people, I know people who say Fantasia is their favorite Disney movie of all time. That That's yeah. hard for me to comprehend. <laughs> it's not my favorite. I mean, I thoroughly, uh, I thoroughly love it. It's so beautiful. The animation is beautiful. The music is gorgeous, but it's just like, it's not like my favorite one. I can respect it. Yeah. But yeah, it's not, it's, I would not rather watch this movie. I'd rather watch Frozen. But no, I'm just kidding. I'd rather watch Fantasia 2000 than watch Frozen. Oh, I would rather watch Frozen myself. <laughs> All right, T. You have one lifeline left, which is Skylar, but you're four <laughs> away from the million. You're doing amazing for a debut for a, for a first timer. You're doing amazing for this on this show. So. Yeah. 125,000 points. Uh, let's see. What is the title of the animated television series that debuted on Netflix in October 2022 based on the YouTube channel, The Odd Ones Out? Is it Odd Fellows? Odd Balls? Odds and Evens? Or Odd Function? Mm -hmm. I see you looking at the question like you have. I have no idea. I've never heard of this in my life. <laughs> I feel like I have just like, you know, just Absolutely. I'm trying to think. Like I feel like I know it. I know the animated television series that to be on Netflix. But what are you what are you thinking it is? I'm thinking it's A. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Don't forget you have Skylar if you want to use the last lifeline. Yeah. Ah, I'm like trying to think. Take your time. <laughs> hmm. I'm going off, ironically, I'm going off with the ones but I would think sounds like a better TV show. <laughs> nice. You know, see most animations, they have like some odd, weird, mm. this one sounds cool. Yeah, some sort of a hook, some cat to catch the kids with. <laughs> Yes. Mm. Okay, I may have to phone an expert. You want to use the last life thing? Sadly, yes. Well, okay. <laughs> no, sadly, that's what they're for. So let's ask Skyler. It's not Disney related, but did he know it? He said, this one's tough, but I'm 50% sure it'd be oddballs. 50% So he's 50% sure B. Oh, uh, Skyler. <laughs> um hmm. I don't know why I keep leaning towards A. I don't know. 
again, like I said, there's no round two, so it doesn't make sense to walk away. So it's better to just take a guess. But what are you gonna guess? Is the question. <laughs> I don't know. Let me ask. Let me ask Grogu and see what he says. You know, just need maybe, the maybe force is not with me. <laughs> Let's see. I'm Grogu, going to. Grogu says, "Wait for season three. <laughs> <laughs> Please, that's all I'm waiting for. <laughs> Taking forever. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> go against Skylar and say A. Odd fellows. Final um, answer. Okay, you <laughs> you had no idea. You went with Skylar. He was half sure it was B, but you he said half sure. You went with A instead. Is that right? Do you keep going, or is this the end of the game? T, your answer is wrong. Aww. I'm so sorry. You leave with thirty two thousand. He was actually right. It was oddballs. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. He should have said seventy five percent. Well, he, that's the thing. He wasn't. And at least, at least he helped you with um, Peter, um, not Peter Pan. Uh, uh, what was the question you used him for? I forget. But the other question. I forgot already. Yeah. Well, I'm getting old. But anyway, <laughs> T, you played amazing. You leave with thirty two thousand points, and you went all the way to the one twenty five, which is pretty good for a debut. And, Thank uh, you. you know, this is the last episode of the season, but before we go, is there anything you want to say or how can people, you know, find you online if they want to check out, check you out, check your stuff out? Um, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram. And it's, it's just me, T. I don't, I used to post a lot on YouTube and, but I stopped because work got busy because Disneyland is really busy. So <laughs> that's where you can find me at. Nice. I'll post links to that below. And for everyone else watching, um, season eight is done. Uh, we've, I'm sad to say that it, it's over, but I'm happy to have had a wonderful season eight. And I want to thank everyone who appeared on the show. I want to thank UT for coming on the show, as well yeah. as um, Andrew, uh, Brian. Uh, I don't want to list everybody because I'm going to forget their names, but you know who you are, <laughs> all 10 of you who showed up on the show. And especially thanks to Skylar for being the expert this season. He had to deal with me sending him questions for 10 weeks in a row and answering all of them. So thank you, Skylar. You helped a lot of people out. And for everyone else watching, if you're interested in playing this game next season, you know, reach out to me on my blog or my Instagram page. And until then, I'll see you for season nine next year. Hopefully. Take care. Bye.